Here I am working with another shield for the micro bit. This is called the maker bit. It is powered by up to nine volts, a barrel connector. You need to put at least three volts because the micro bit needs three volts. You put some more voltage like four and a half or six or nine and it gives you some power to run some motors and some servos. There are some nine volt, there are some five volt uh, pins on here. Uh, there are some sensors that need five volt pins and it routes five to there. Uh, you can add, put the nine on here because it does power regulation and always sends the micro bit the three volts that it needs. One of the first things it was designed for was this idea of touch points, turning on LEDs. I kind of have the shield here trying to shield some of the sun glare so you can see those LEDs. The reds show up pretty nicely. So it comes with ribbon cables. This ribbon cable and another one um, have the LEDs attached already. This ribbon cable doesn't have the LEDs attached, but you just put on ones that you buy uh, inexpensively. Uh, so it comes with a couple of, you know, like blank ribbon cables. One thing to pay attention to with the this ribbon cable, see they're, they're the twos, it's a block of two, as opposed to a block of one, like on my touch point. See, it's got a block of just a whole bunch of singles. And that just makes it easier to make sure you got things plugged into the right place. Also on the block of two, it has a triangle saying that this is one side and that's the side you would put the um, negative, the short pin on the LED into. So if I touch one, a light's gonna light up. If you see other lights lighting up, it's because the touch points are touching each other. It's hard to separate them in my hand here. And I only have it lighting up for like half a second. The yellows light up okay. The greens don't show up too well. You can kind of see the greens. And that's just something to play with on your, on your own, which lights light up. The touch points are really just the backs of earrings. I used a paper clip to touch in one time, worked fine. Um, these ribbon cables are, are universal, basically. I could have taken this ribbon cable from my touch points and plugged it into uh, an LED thing and then put LEDs in here. So that's not a big deal. Um, they do have them color coded, like the black, just in case people really need that direction. Um, there are 12 uh, touch point things here and there are 12 LEDs arranged for it. If you use all 12 in your code, uh, that is pretty much almost all of the pins available on a microbit. I actually had to disable pretty much the, the LED on the microbit. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, so let's look at my code that I set up in make code. Uh, start off with just, you know, on start, you have to, I had, because I was using certain pins, I had to tell to turn off the LED array on the micro bit because we're using pins five through 16 and some of those pins are the array as well as the A and the B button. That's I said, if you're using all 12 LEDs, you're gonna be turning off uh, the, the functions of the micro bit, the, the switches and the LED. And then I set all the pins to low. Why does it start five and go to 16? Well, because zero, one, two, three, and four are analog pins. That's actually another plug on there. So that's why it starts at five. And then just a simple program, um, I had to add the maker bit extension. Make sure you look for that. And then it's just, you know, if I touch sensor five, turn on, set digital pin five high, six and six, seven and seven, da -da -da, all the way on through 16. You know, if I touch a sensor, turn the corresponding pin to high. And then I had to pause for half a second and then I turn them all low. If you don't turn them off, they never go off. Just remember that. So, so there's the maker bit. We'll be playing more with it.